Hey guys and welcome to Rough Gear Review. Today we're having a look at the Smith & Wesson Trail Boss. It's right here, 44 Magnum. Little 3 inch barrel, it's ported. Uh, and this is actually a really old gun. Um, well maybe not really old. Not as old as some of those Smith & Wessons you're going to find out there. But this one I picked up in 1993. I'm pretty sure that was the year. Might have been 92. Uh, this was actually made probably somewhere around 1990. Uh, this is actually a 629.5. If you look at the code, that says they were made in the 1990. Um, but this was uh, the 629 or Model 29 Smith & Wessons. It's their large end frame. Uh, the end frame's been around forever. I think way back in like 1954 they started it. Um, at some point... Uh, the movie Dirty Harry, the most powerful handgun in the world at the time. The, this was the most powerful production handgun when that movie came out. The, the Model 29, 44 Magnums. And they were having a heck of a time keeping those in stock. Everybody was buying them up. Uh, now they kind of make these in uh, some specialties. But this was the Trail Boss that came out. And basically the Trail Boss had a hoe grip. It had the 3-inch barrel. And it was ported. Um, and it was... a great gun. I remember when I, I first saw this, I, I was excited about picking it up. And I've had this, like I said, ever since, um, for a couple of decades now. And I love this gun. It, it's a lot of fun to go out and shoot. I like that 44 Magnum. Uh, you know, I'm a big fan of the big calibers, uh, and especially a big caliber and such a small little gun. Um, it's, I even have a holster for this if I ever decide I want to carry it. Not that I ever have, but... Um, it's it's a it's a great gun. It's a lot of fun to go out and shoot. Uh, you know, not extremely accurate, uh, especially at any distance because you know it has that short barrel. But that ported barrel keeps it down. And nowadays, more or less, if you know if you are in the market for something like this, if, even if you stumbled upon this video, uh, you're probably more of a collector, uh, maybe with Smith and Wesson uh, handguns and revolvers. And that's probably why you're looking at this. Uh, the trail busts haven't been around for a really long time, and um, but you know it, it's it's a great gun. It's it's real reliable. This is before they were putting the little lock on here, um, and it's you know it's a big hefty gun. It's it's I don't think the kickbacks that much on this. The recoil I think is is real manageable. I think it's helped with that ported uh, barrel that keeps the barrel down when you're firing, and I can get my repeat shots you know right on the money. Um, but you're gonna see some video of, of me shooting this, and this is just really kind of a, a quick little look. Uh, kind of a classic gun that hasn't been around for a long time. Um, and if you can find one, you know, I, I'd say pick it up if you're a collector. I, I think these are these are great, real reliable. It's a wheel gun. You know, it's not going to jam on you. Um, but this one, like I said, I've had for a couple of decades. And I got countless rounds through this. I, I couldn't even begin to imagine uh, how many rounds I've fired through this gun over the years. But it's been great. Definitely one of my favorites. Uh, I really enjoy going out and shooting this. It's a lot of fun. Um, so if you have any questions or comments, guys, leave them in the section below. And as always, thanks a lot for watching Rough Gear Review, guys.